We're entering the final stage of Lent, and Palm Sunday is just a few days away. We've spent this week thinking about giving and how uh, we're free from anxiety and fear and anger and all these other things, but we're also free to do things. We're free to give. Each week, we've had a devotional that's uh, challenged us to think about as we go through our days, are we thinking about getting more or giving more? And one of the things that happens as we grow closer to God is uh, we open ourselves to the work of the Spirit, is we become more generous with our time, with our resources, and with our money. And as we think about how Christ lived and what God has done for us, God is generous. God has given us all that he has. Christ modeled a way of giving and living that is vital for us to practice here today. Christ himself told us in Matthew 20 that he didn't come to be served, but he came to serve. And one of the ways we demonstrate our heart for service is through giving. But it's not just there. It's in everything that we do as we go through life. And so in Christ, we have the freedom to live. And as you think about the early church and how they remembered what kind of king they served, Paul gives us a model for the things they did to remember the call to service. I encourage you to spend some time with Philippians 1 verse 27 through chapter 2 and verse 18 and think about uh, this challenge that comes to us as we seek to have the same mindset that Christ Jesus had. Palm Sunday is almost here. It, it ushers in Holy Week, which is a chance for us uh, to make the most of our time, uh, to spend time in ref uh, reflection and prayer and worship and and think about the kind of king that we serve. Sunday is a day for us to celebrate and worship Christ as our king. And remember uh, what kind of king he is so that we can remember what kind of servants we're called to be. And then the following Sunday is Easter. And in between there's Good Friday and other, other days for us to remember the events that rest at the heart of our faith. And so make more time in the coming week to spend time with us as we worship and with God in your own daily lives uh, to reflect on the kind of king that Christ is, the kind of kingdom that he's ushering into our world, and what that means for us. I'm looking forward to Sunday. See you then.